Hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So this week's tutorial is that I will show you how to create an impulse of a real space. So this is not about doing an impulse of a cabinet or something like that, but of a real space that you can then use as an impulse reverb. So first thing that we need is a microphone. Check. But actually I will be using this one. And I will be using this second one that I'm holding as a reference. And then we need two books or anything that's, that has hard surface. Like uh, if you have uh, two pieces of plank. And uh, then we also need some tape. And I'll show you what I need this two books and tape for. Okay, so what you need to do is that you take the books and then you place them preferably you know same series books so that they are same size then put them together with the tape use two pieces okay so what we now have is a clapper so let's test it out okay so We'll use that as the signal. My dog actually might freak out from this, but I don't care. Okay, so I'll just go in place and record what is coming. And let's see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm now here in my friend's living room. And uh, what I'll do is that I'll clap this clapper. And uh, I'll use this mic as a reference to what is the direct signal and then I have the other one right next to the computer and I'll see that is pre-delay and let's see how it sounds all right so here's the session that I recorded Okay, so I'm now and our impulse is here. So the first one is the direct signal. So let's cut it from the beginning of it. Let's zoom a little. Okay, so it starts from around there. Or there, whatever you want. So let's just take both of those, take off snap, use the scissor tools, and uh, just snap it there. And uh, then for the end, maybe we should take it to. Maybe around there. <laughs> Now that we have those, let's rename this track Impulse Direct Impulse Room and then use the audio sorry, let's do the fade in and fade out first so let's it starts from there Let's fade it out like that. All right, then audio bounce selection, replace events. Yes, and then we go to the folder, and they are here. And let's track them to the desktop, so it's easier to find them. All right, so then what we'll do is that I'll quickly create a short loop of drums. All right, so now we have a very short loop of drums. It sounds like this. Let's make it a bit more inter interesting. Fuck yeah. Okay, so now that we have our drum loop, let's make a new effect track. And let's use reverb and um, 
IRL, one ohm. And then let us load import impulse response from a file. So here is the room. And let's send from that drum loop to that reverb. And let's make it pre fader so we can turn it down. Alright, as we can hear, we get uh, quite a bit of symbols there. So let's EQ just a bit. So let's put the key in Q10 there. Put a low pass filter. Something like that. And then now uh, let's raise the drums back in. Doesn't sound pretty, but it, but that is how you make an impulse of a real room. Seems that that 800 hertz is just killing it. So if we compare the sound that we got from the room to the one that we got from the direct. It seems that the direct is more for if you want it really to smack in your face. So it may work better or worse, depends what you are after. But let's try to blend it just a bit more and without the reverb so sounds pretty ballsy if you ask me so as you saw it is really simple to model a uh, real space so I hope you found this tutorial interesting, um, thank you for watching and make good music.